Hey Cancers, I'm back out with another video. This is going to be for the month of February. So now up until February is when you can utilize this video. So we're going to use the start off with the Millennial Oracle. Just going to grab some energy from here and then we'll jump into the tarot. All right, Cancers. All right. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Is this what's going on? So, y'all seem like y'all just having a blast. Whether it be on Instagram, whether it be on Facebook, whether it be whatever social media site that you guys are utilizing. It looks like you guys are having a ball. It looks like y'all are having a ball. Um, At the same time, some of you are online. Some of you aren't. Um, some of y'all just feel like you're missing out on something. Um, if you don't, if you aren't online, but some of y'all may want to take a detox from social media, but some of y'all feel like you'll miss something. Like you miss, you know, as soon as you turn your back, you'll miss something. Okay. So y'all look like y'all are having a blast though. It seems like y'all are having a blast. Um, but maybe feeling like, you know, let me take a couple days off social media, <laughs> but feeling like if I do that, then now I'm going to miss out. It's kind of like damned if I do, damned if I don't type of energy, especially with this digital detox right here in the middle. Now turn right here is just saying like, look, I'm having a blast. Okay. Yeah. You're excited, having fun, but then that digital detox right here. Maybe you're disconnecting after, uh, you know, being around a group of people, being around a lot of people. Maybe you feel like you need to take some type of break. It may not even be on social media. It just may be around a, a crowd, okay? Maybe you're disconnecting from a crowd of people because, you know, you just, you know, we just had fun. We just did that and all that. But, yeah, let me regroup, okay? Because, yeah. But when you do that, you may feel like, you know, you're missing out on something. There's something else that you could be doing or something. Like, you just feel like if I, if I remove myself, then I'm going to know what's going on. You know? <laughs> you know, it's going to like, you want to distance yourself, but feeling like you can't. Because you're not going to be caught up on what's going on. All right. So let's see. Let's pull the tarot. Give me a message for cancer, please. Shuffle up for a few, and then we'll jump right into the read. So what could be happening in January? You could have been, you know, out of out and about more. February rolls in, you're kind of feeling like, you know, you need to um, spend have some alone time to regroup, um, and then by end of February. You know, you feel like, okay, is it time for me? I'm getting a little bit of anxiety, like feeling like, you know, let me go back out and see what's going on. All right, so the Five of Wands is here at the bottom of the deck here. And the Six of Cups. So there's some type of conflict or issues from your past. Maybe that's on your mind. We got the world. We popped it off with the world card here. And the king of wands. Ace of swords. The magician. 
Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. Ace of Wands, Two of Swords, Five of Pentacles, and the Seven of Swords. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This is missing out energy. Like, this is a fear. Like, you feel like, you're mi like you'll miss out on something. Like, you... Why is the Five of Pentacles here? And the Four of Wands. There may be a group. You feel like, you know, you're not going to fit in. Okay. Like, yeah, I'm getting like being yourself. Okay. Being yourself. Because you fear that you may not fit in with a particular group of people. And it's definitely a group. Because we got that four of wands. This is like a, this is like a, some type of gathering, some type of get together. Hearing something about the truth got out. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Four of Swords. Okay, so you're thinking about. Okay, there's a connection here that could have been strictly friends with benefits, or it was just something that was um, supposed to just be for fun. I feel like you're getting tired of being questioned about this individual. Why is the world here? Seven of Wands. Okay. Somebody, you push somebody away. Or you feel like you need to push this person away. Okay. So you had to push this person away. So you can focus on your money. The Magician and Ten of Pentacles. You had to push this person away. The passion is there. I see sex here. I see passion. But I see you pushing someone out of your mind. Like trying to avoid thinking about them. Because it's something about it where you're having regret. Yeah, because you think you're going to have regrets. Maybe. I see you deciding to put yourself first. You realize that, you know, your confidence level maybe need to be, need, may needs to be worked on. So I feel like you're working towards that. And I feel like I'm clearly seeing like you pushing someone away. Because you feel like you're tired of having regrets. It'd be a fire sign. Why is the king of wands here? This person is a challenge. Yeah, the knight of cups. Okay, so this person offers you passion. A lot of, you know, it, it, this person, hey, gets you there passionately. I feel like there's, you're trying to let go of this person. Someone that you could have been dealing with for a while because we got a Ten of Wands and the Eight of Wands and the Six of Cups. I feel like you hold on to this person, though. Um, but you know that it's, this could be keeping you from moving forward. I feel like you love this person. You're just waiting for 
the right moment to tell this person how you feel. I feel like I see you spying on this person. Um, some of y'all just had enough. Some of y'all just had enough, but you're pushing this person away so you can focus on, you can manifest something greater for yourself. Um, the challenge is this person reaching out to you, communicating with you, inviting you, giving you some type of invitation. This person is, uh, the challenge is this person giving you some type of, some type of invitation. I feel like it's an invitation for some, you know, hot steamy little romance here. So we got this Ace of Wands here. Yeah. The Chariot. I feel like you're thinking about it. Um, I feel like you're thinking about it. You know, it's it's like this person gets you there. This person does it for you. And this person, this person is actually a challenge for you because their energy is in your challenge. And it's you accepting their offer. Their offer is to come over. And they're coming over with the wood. They're coming over with the good, good. Like they're coming over for that type of energy. Yep, I told you. The six is good. Ten of cups. Ace of wands. The six is good. So that's why there it's a challenge. But you feel like it's time for you to kind of like push this person out of like, you don't want to think about this person in that way anymore. I feel like you're trying to manifest. You're trying to manifest something bigger with, with this person or without them. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? I feel like... Your intuition is telling you that this person could be mad at you, disappointed, yeah. You feel like this person could be disappointed or you're disappointed in this person. I see you watching them. Page of Swords and the um, the Moon. But you feel like this person isn't man enough or woman enough. You feel like they're not man enough or woman enough. Um, and I, I see there's a constant uh, effort being put in. Um, to get things to go back to how they were at one point. But you feel like you're doing everything right in this person's eyes. Or this, you did everything right. So you're not sure what this person really wants. Okay. Now, the Knight of Pentacles is here for, for future energy. This is the slowest moving night in the deck. Okay. So you could be slowing things down with this person. Okay. But then we got that fool <laughs> and the star. You could be slowing things down. You're kind of, you know, kind of hoping that that gets this person's attention, get them to realize. I do see um, you hoping that this person reaches out to you, sends you a text message or some type of uh, communication. But this person over here is in there to a source of energy. They're uncertain. Very, very uncertain. As well as they're over here juggling things um, that they have going on. Because we got the two of swords as well as the two of pentacles. So they're uncertain about the connection as well. They're not sure what to think. Um, they're not sure what's the what the problem is. Um, and like I said, they're juggling. They have their own things that they have going on over here. Yeah, and they're trying to move on to something else. They they know that you're being distant. They feel you being distant. Um, so maybe they feel like... I, I also see that they're putting a lot of attention um, possibly on another connection with the Queen of Wands and the Two of Cups. Or they're really, really focused on, they have some type of goal that they're trying to attain. They are thinking about you. I see someone possibly, like, 
they're watching up. I'm, I'm clearly getting stalking, okay? It's Page of Swords and the Nine of Wands is my stalker energy. These two cards together symbolize somebody like literally, like this is really like hiding in the bushes type of energy. Like they really watch you, watch you, watch you. So they're watching you. They're trying to figure something out. They're trying to, we got the moon and the sun. They're trying to bring some type of secret to the light. Like they feel like you're hiding something. aren't going as planned you fear this is in your hopes and fears i feel like you fear that things aren't going to go as planned okay and if you were to uh meet back up with this person give this person another chance because i see like you tried this before you tried this before and i feel like someone owes somebody an apology as well you just fear like things aren't going to go as planned. If it's not going to go as planned, then, you know, I feel like you're willing to be this chariot energy. With This is your energy. I feel like you're willing to move forward without this person. Now, the seven of swords is the outcome and the knight of swords. Um, gosh. I'm getting somebody upset here. Five of Wands and the Knight of the Five of Wands and the Knight of Wands. This is very competitive energy. This is somebody that's like all over the place type of energy, especially with that Knight of Swords energy there as well. Like somebody take things too far. You could feel like this person take things too far. Yeah, and see, they come right back. Like, they take things too far, and then they come right back. Um, I'm getting that energy. I feel like you love this person. I feel like there is some type of connections uh, here. But I feel like you love yourself more. Okay? Nine of Pentacles. Hierophant. I feel like you love this person, but you love yourself more. This person takes things way too far, and then they try to run back. And I feel like you're trying to stop that cycle. Like, you're trying to, like, put a stop to that cycle. Yeah. Hermit, this is something that you um, are trying to distance yourself from. Yeah, I I really do see like if if it's not gonna go as planned, you don't want to dip your feet in this at well. But this person is giving you a real run for your money because they over here giving you that good good. <laughs> they over here putting that good good on you, and yeah, it's <laughs> it's kind of hard. Okay, show me this person's intentions. I need to know more about this person's intentions towards cancer. Yeah, this person does want to communicate with you. They are going to reach out to you. We got love call and girl talk. So they want to talk to you. They do definitely want to be around you. They're just running. Like, why? Their energy is the runner. Like, this person, they don't want to be, um, they have fear of intimacy. And they're very ego-based. So, this person is the runner. I'm getting, like, you know, just chill and then go. And lots of talking. Lots of talking. Especially if you're talking about a higher level of commitment, like weddings and getting married or engaged. This person is going to run off. They want to talk to you. They want to engage with you. 
um, but they are a coward, okay? They, they fear intimacy, like things getting too deep. They fear that. I told you they watch you. They sit here and watch you. We got sunglasses. They sit here and spy on you. But we got the Grim Reaper. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. They're saying that there's some type of ending. Okay. Tell me more about the Grim Reaper. Gosh. That's a thousand cards just flipped over. Palm tree. Yeah. This is like a, a, a... This is the Four of Wands energy. Maybe someone needs to get a divorce. Someone could be living with someone already. They could already be in some type of situation. Ooh. Abundance. Okay. Um, I just feel like maybe y'all aren't on the same page. Because we got abundance and twin flames and acts. So it's kind of like this could be like so good if this person were to be on the same page with you. I don't feel like this person, you and this person aren't on the same page. Y'all need to get on the same page. And that what could be was making this person like run off from the connection. Like I said, they love to engage. They love to watch you and see what you're doing. They like to be all up in your business. All right, y'all, that's what I got. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao for now.